Hello and welcome back to another video. First of all, please don't mind the big gigantic thing on my forehead. It's fine. Today, I'm taking myself on a night out on the town by myself. Weird, right? Tonight, I am headed down to the University of Denver to their Performing Arts Center to go see a TikToker's podcast tour. I have followed this TikToker and this... I don't even know if I want to call him a TikToker. I don't know. I have followed this person on social media for a long time and have followed his podcast for a very long time. And so, once I saw that he was coming to Denver, I booked a literal single seat by myself in the third row and VIP. Did I realize it was VIP when I bought it? No. Um, so there's problem one I had to figure out already tonight. Figure out what time I need to be there because my tickets is 6.30 and then when I go to buy tickets, it says 8 o'clock. So I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to call the Performing Arts Center just to see where it's at. But tonight, I'm taking myself on a date because, you know, I deserve it. I deserve it. And everybody else was just busy. And nobody else listens to this person besides me or knows who this person is. The person I am seeing tonight is Leo Skeppy. If you guys don't know who he is, you guys need to know who he is. Because he might be one of the funniest people ever. And his podcast is all about the eight points of, like, confidence about yourself. So not only am I brave enough and confident enough to go by myself tonight, but now he's going to teach me how to be more confident about other things. I'm going to go ahead and call the Performing Arts Center to see what time I probably should be there and where to go. Um, usually I have this figured out by now, but I don't. And then I'm also just going to chill, work on some stuff, do my hair, do my makeup, and then we'll get ready for the show. We're doing a little fit check moment. We have the matching set from Aerie. It's like the cargo linen style, whatever. And then I decided to pull out the pandas. My kid size pandas, we love that. Um, but we gotta get going because Leo just posted that doors open at 6 and it's currently 519. And I was planning to be there at 6. So like, I'm kind of late but I'm kind of not. But we all know I like to be early to things. So, let's go. I don't know if it's just me or if anybody else gets nervous on taking themselves out on a date. Just me? Mm, cool. Um, I don't think I'm that nervous because I feel like this group of people are going to be like good people, hopefully. Um, hopefully no hecklers because that'll ruin everything. Um, but Leo posted that the doors open at 6. I had planned there originally to get to, at there at 6. So I left a little early. I was in the rush of kind of getting ready, but it's okay. I just want to be like the last in line for the meet and greet. <laughs> The meet and greet itself does not open and or does not start until 6.30 though. We are on our way and I'm excited just to go by myself. You know, it's not a bad thing to ever go to anything by yourself. I'm gonna go enjoy myself. Just have the night to myself. I don't get those often. We have made it to the show. I also almost went to the University of Denver and I just think about it sometimes. I'm like, life would be so different if that was the case. But I'm gonna pack my fanny pack and we're gonna get going. We are in the VIC meet and greet line right now, lined up in the hallway. I'm by myself, but it's okay. I got water, pretzels, and a shirt. I'll see you guys later. But as you can hear, we're here. Guys, he just popped his head in the hallway and it went right back in. But I don't know how much time I have. I don't know what I can record or how much, like, I don't know. We shall see. I'm gonna just leave this on, I think, before I go in and take pictures with my phone. And hopefully, it's But, we'll see. Hey! I'm so sorry. It just happened, and he's still out on stage because this is where he's doing all of his his stuff, or whatever. But I'm still shaking, and he said I smell good. That's the best compliment I can ever get. But look at this man. <laughs> With you trying to control perception, if you're trying to 
construct an image or be perceived in a certain way. You're like, I'm gonna act this certain way. Or I'm gonna do this certain thing because I wanna be perceived like this. And you're trying to put off this certain vibe. That is when you feel that anxiety inside. You might be strong outside, but inside you're like, please don't clock it, please, please. <laughs> and you're just like a shaky little bitch inside. You're trying to be something you're not. When you're trying to control perception, that is when criticism is going to hurt. Criticism will shoot fucking holes in the image you're trying to create. Bullets can never touch your essence. If someone criticizes you when you're being yourself, you don't feel it. When you're faking it, it's me. Because your ego is going to come in. It's like if you're in a boat. If people like shooting holes in your belt and you start sinking, your ego's gonna be like, fuck you, and try to like patch a hole. It's gonna be running around like survival mode. When you're trying to put on an image, understand. Your essence can never be hit. And the way I can kind of prove this is another way to like in prison. But when you're being you and you're anchored into your intention of why you do things, you don't give a fuck. Like with me, being online. I know why I'm online. I'm here to be authentic, be me, show all the sides of me. You guys have met like all 12 of my personality. <laughs> I do just want to say thank you again to all of you. We love you! And thank you for believing in me. Everybody that's new, welcome to the family. Everybody make friends, talk to somebody for you. But everybody that's new, welcome to the family, and everybody that's not, be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you later. It's been a few days since the Leo Scabby podcast tour. When I tell you, I walked out of the Performing Arts Center with the utmost confidence I've ever had in myself because of this man. Wild. Wild. That was like one of the best things ever that I could ever go to. And I felt even more confident in myself that I went by myself. I, it was just like an incredible event. I tried to record some of it, although there was a disclaimer in the beginning of the show to not record anything. Um, I don't, because he wanted just to keep it, I guess, to ourselves um, and to whoever came to the show. But in a sense, his show was all about confidence and he took us on this like checkpoint roadmap thing he had eight different checkpoints and he talked about the different steps of gaining all that confidence that you should have in yourself um and just to be yourself and all that if you've never listened to his podcast ever watched any of his tiktoks please do so because this man when i tell you i'm having a bad day or if i'm feeling bad about myself or just needed like a little pick me up i will go watch him because then i'll just feel like a bad bitch but the nicest person Literally so tall. You saw my pictures. Like, look at this picture. The difference of me and him, wild. He's a foot and a half taller than I am. Couldn't have asked for a better night, date night to myself. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up, push a big red subscribe button down below, and click on the bell to turn on post notifications so you don't miss another Thursday video. And I'll see you guys next Thursday. Deuces.